Hey you. Yes you. I did something for you, so you don't have to. I may. Uh, wh- what are you? What are you dragging? Wait, no, no. I wasn't talking about the body. Go hide it again. Right. Where, where was I? <clears throat> I made you a 3D model of a girl that you can download on my Gumroad for 5 euros in the description. Feel free to use this base to create your own models and tag me on Instagram so I can see what you cooked up. I personally find creating the base the most problematic and boring part. You know, you just want to get to the fun stuff and customize your model. So if you have a good base with great topology to start off with, that should make your life a whole lot easier. In case you're interested, here's how I made the base. But before that, I just want to say that I have a solid 10 hours of footage, so if I skip over some things that you have questions about, please leave a comment and I'll answer it. I got a reference image from Pinterest for the anatomy and measured it. There are different ways to model a base, but I like to start off with blocking out the overall shape and adding more subdivisions from there. So a cube for the torso and a cube for the hips. Join these together and use the sculpting tools to reshape. I added the neck and a mirror modifier. For the legs, I just extruded the bottom of the hips, shaped them, and added feet. The same goes for the arms, you just extrude and align them to your reference. This is a temporary head I stole from a model I created in the past, more on that in a bit. Once I've blocked out the basic shape, I fixed the topology. The torso and how the arms are attached, the abs or whatever this area is called. Making the topology like this gives the model more shape. The same with the butt, creating this crease line at the bottom. I made the knees like uh, more knee-like and the elbows more elbow-like and the back more back-like. Okay, I'll stop. Remember when I said I temporarily stole the head from an older model I created? Well, I did the same for the hands, but in this case not temporary but permanent. I will admit I spent so much time reshaping and fixing the hand that at that rate I could have just created a whole new one. Back to the head, well, I redid the face like 3 times. As I mentioned earlier, the first time I just stole the head off of a model I made in the past, but then realized the topology was whack and said I can do better than that, and proceeded to do worse than that. (sighs) I did the same method again and failed a second time. Third time, I decided to trash the head and just start over completely from scratch with, once again, a cube. From the cube, I sculpted the overall shape. Oh my god. From the cube, I sculpted the overall shape, added new loop cuts, used the knife tool a bunch of times, added eyes, a nose, and a mouth. From there, I just kept adding details until it looked somewhat decent. I used a sphere with one end slightly extruded for the eyeballs. The ears are always the part I dread the most, so I think I spent a solid hour alone just on those. I added the crease above the eye and the thingy inside the eyes, the the bit of flesh, you know what I mean. After all that, I linked the head and hands to the body, added an inside of the mouth and spent a bit more time reshaping everything. And boom, she's done. Kinda. You see, this is just the base. I'm not done yet, but that's for the next video. So whilst I work further on creating my own customized character, so can you by going to my Gumroad in the description and downloading this model, preventing you from spending 10 hours creating a base. Oh god.